What's up, my defenders? Actually, no, guys. Hi, I'm the angry video game nerd, bro. And today, I'm going to be doing the first, my first ever, um, actual, um, episode. So, if you guys don't know the angry video game nerd, I will leave, I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. And I'm not copying him, I'm helping him. He does games from the past. I do them from the present. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing, as of right now I'm going to be playing a Nintendo game. Nintendo, not Nintendo GameCube or anything like that. No, 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 not anything 1900s. No GameCube, no, no, no. We are going to be going, you're going to be stuck on Nintendo 3DS with a game I like to call... The Lego Movie video game. Let's pop this thing in. Alright, so... If you guys don't know what the Lego Movie video game is, I think it came out like a little bit after the game... The, the movie was made. So here's what it, I... I don't know if you guys can actually see it. Maybe too bright. This better. Yes, the Lego Movie video game. People wanted to buy it, but they tricked you into buying a piece of crap. Alright, so let's get this going. This thing was like sponsored by like at least ten, five to six other things T Fusion, DC Comics, Legos, The Middle Earth. New Line Cinemas, Crazy Glue too, like Jesus Christ. And then the game starts. <sighs> Alright, let's get into this. Let's play. Oh yeah. Hold on. I need to start over the actual thing. Let's go into the settings. Now we're going to go to a new game. Let's play this. Can you hear that? So, yep, here's the game. The Lego Movie Video Game. Let's play. Um... Let's see what this gives us. So, if you go to the prologue, so basically this is what it is. There are episodes that you gotta do right here. This is the first episode. Plus, this is also a tap game as well. You can use either the buttons or the tapping. I use the buttons because it's way easier. And plus, I lost my pens. Both of them. I think one of them fell. I think I just lost one and the other one fell down a, a vent. So, yeah, let's go to the first level. There are three levels in each one. And good lord. So the first one is just like any other game. It's the easiest level. And then look. This is one thing I don't like. They have the nerve to put in at least like 10 challenges. But you gotta get into the level first. And then you gotta pause it to see what the challenges are. You just guess. So if I press A, it continues. And then there's a cutscene, which is just people grabbing stuff from the movie. So yes, yeah, so and then the game finally starts. Hold on, wait, let me... Yes, the game finally starts. Now. This game is a sort of... This game is a sort of hit game. You gotta press Y near an object or enemy to attack, but that's... But if you press... Yes, you press Y, because Y is the melee attack. X... X is... X is a ranged weapon attack. Which is the one thing I... Which is another thing I hate in this, is that X happens to be 
a range and if you get hit and trust me if you don't if you don't know how to pause this thing like if you press like if you don't know how to and look I just died the one thing I gotta give him credit for is that you get four hearts and I le level failed play it again this game is crap so far this game is not giving me nothing crap this, this is terrible this is just terrible so basically you gotta press start as soon as the level starts playing And you hear that annoying song in the in in that. The only actual music from the movie. That's the only music that they added in from the movie. Yep. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta you gotta scroll through using the D-pad. Most of these you get no reward except for except for the first one. And 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 the multi-challenge, which is the things I hate. Basically you gotta do three things that are really good they're really really hard. Defeat three enemies with special moves. Finish the level 135 seconds or less, and then complete the level without taking any damage. Reward Cleopatra. I don't even know who Cleopatra is. Honestly, I haven't gotten to that point in history yet in school. And then, these are just things you can do if you want to. So then you can press play again, and go back to the thing. The cutscene is the in-game graphics, and the actual, once you actually start playing the level. And then... And then you have a special attack as well. And those sounds that you're hearing about like wah and stuff. I'm using my range weapons because because I'm pressing X. I don't understand why they thought Y was a good idea to have them as like the actual the actual melee attack button. That's just weird because most of this game you want to use. You know, I'm just gonna save this guard. This game is pretty much cause so if you wanna buy this game, I mean back in twenty fourteen people would buy this game. Honestly, back in twenty fourteen actually back when I turned eight when I got this, I was excited for, to play this game. It was it wasn't it was it was just an average game then. But now this game and then special ability, yes. Usually they're short range. Usually they're like always short range. And then there's the master building. You can't choose what you build. You have to go with the game. You press A, select all the green outline things, and then they start building. And then you know you can and then you can either use your pen or the actual joystick. Of course everybody in the world is gonna do the joystick. Why would they even bother? And then level complete. I didn't. Watch what happens. He dies anyway. That makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. I don't care about the cutscene. Finish line and got furious. Time attack. Enemies. Lava leap. Rescue guards. That's it. Complete level take any, any damage, yeah. So and then you go to the next level, level two, where you actually play as Emmett. Nine minutes. It's been nine minutes. You know what? Hold on. No! Oh my god. I'm trying to make this video shorter because it's already been like nine minutes. It's gonna take forever for this thing to load up on YouTube. Press A. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what I hate the most. I'm gonna show you what is the worst kind of level 
in this freaking game. I'm going to go to my other save. I'm going to go to my other save file, and I'm going to show you guys what I hate the most. The third level of this. You want to see what this is? Oh. Oh, yeah, I got to select the person. You know what? I want to be someone different. I want to be... Ooh, who do I want to be? Lord Business? Yeah. Let's kill Lord... Yeah, let's get Lord Business wrecked. I already got everything on here in the save. This is the worst possible thing they could even put in a video game. Do you know what this is? This is a third person flying control level. You fly around and, uh, while avoiding things, just going straight forward. It's like a racing game, but there's no race. And the only objective isn't to win, is to survive. These things are hard. I mean, they're hard, especially if they, 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 why, why would they even bother giving you a, a non-harmful path and a harmful path? Because everybody's just gonna, nobody cares about the take the harmful path. No, people want, just want to be safe. I think I'm almost there, just gotta dodge some more things. Well, yes, this thing's, whenever I first started the game, this was one of the worst levels. So this game is crap. This game, I mean, it has okay graphics for 2014, but the actual game is just, it's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's not absolutely terrible, it's just bad. It's, actually, it's, just, it's just bad. You know what? I'm gonna have the honor of doing this. Yeah! Take that, game. Well, anyway, guys, I'll see you next time on another episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd Bro.